Item number SCP-118KO Object Class Keller Special Containment Procedures SCP-118KO is to be contained in a designated containment base at Beep of Beep, Level 5 Security Clearance Required for Specific Location. SCP-118KO should be contained via an unmanned containment mechanism. The automated security system terminates all life forms approaching closer than one kilometer from SCP-118KO or direct hazards to humans within one kilometer of the subject should be removed. In case of a containment breach, SCP-118KO is to be contained via Operation Feigned Illness. Description SCP-118KO is a disc with bumps around the edge made of an unknown metal and measures 10 centimeters in diameter. It only activates when a person is threatened. Note, SCP-118KO responds to external immediate threats, such as a threat to murder, abduction, incarceration, accident, or natural disaster, posing harm to a person. However, it is unresponsive to self-destructive threats such as suicide, famine, or disease. Within a diameter of one kilometer, when active, SCP-118-KO teleports above the threatened human, then proceeds to enter the salvation state, where the object can exert strong physical force and psychological manipulation. SCP-118-KO in the salvation state inflicts a feeling of tranquility and happiness on the aggressor. It responds to situational threats such as traffic accidents or natural disasters by physically lifting the person in danger to safety or blocking cars or borders from hitting the person. It has been observed to teleport subjects when under immediate threat of death. It is noteworthy that SCP-118-KO only uses its ability to humanely save a person in danger without harming the aggressor. If the person reaches safety, SCP-118-KO becomes inert until another person in danger appears within one kilometer from its position. Addendum. In 1996, Beep, the Manor Chirpo Foundation, held a large-scale gathering that the SCP Foundation monitored and recorded. The document below is an excerpt from the statement given at the gathering. I thank you for gathering here on this joyful day. God descended upon this land and saved the poor souls and his almighty and generous power. The holy and noble miracles he practiced stems only from the pure will to save the unfortunate, for he is a true glistening savior. The warm day of light shining upon the damned. Albeit not as glowing as his miracle, we have another miracle he made in front of our eyes. This miracle that shows its incredible power only to save the ones in peril. The poor and the weak represents us, the man at Cherubal Foundation. Now, people, our miracles start on this day, on this land. After the speech, the members shot something up into the sky. Judging from the initial discovery of SCP-118-KO from Beep, this gathering is presumed to be the origin of SCP-118-KO. Notice from SCP-118-KO designated containment base security chief, Dr. Hopes. I didn't expect to hear so much stupidity. Why is SCP-118-KO Kedda? Let me make this clear for the last time. SCP-118-KO saves anyone without any judgment of value, as long as they are threatened. This means it saves anyone, regardless of it's a naive nine-year-old girl or a murderer who killed dozens, as long as they are in danger. Now apply this to the Foundation. It may decide that the woman in unspeakable pain to keep the world existing, a girl in permanent sleep because of her reality-bending abilities, even that godforsaken able are in danger, and breach containment of all of them. 
Know that we have SCP instances that must be put in agony and despair to keep the world afloat. Do you all understand how dangerous SCP-118-KO is now? If anyone downplays SCP-118-KO's threat and pays less attention to SCP-118-KO, it is a matter of time that SCP-118-KO approaches such SCP instances with its ability. If you don't want the herd of Keter class SCP objects escaping Foundation facilities, remember that the containment of SCP-118-KO is of utmost importance.